Hi, Charles Steyer here for CherryValleyMusic.com. Welcome back for another session of Guitar Boot Camp, and this one is called Pick Control Part 2. As we know on guitar, we don't always play all the strings all the time, whether you're just doing a simple bass line, like that, or... We've got to be able to play each individual string or a combination of strings. Now, there are two exercises in this lesson that will help you to do that. And as always with all of our guitar boot camp uh, instructions, slow down, slow down. What we're looking for is absolute perfection. Perfect practice makes perfect, not practice makes perfect. So the first lesson, the first part of today's lesson is called top to bottom picking. Actually it's top note to bottom note picking, but the crazy thing about the guitar is of course the high notes are at the bottom and the low notes are at the top. But anyway, what we're going to do is just take the pick, we're not even going to use the left hand, and we're going to practice a pattern of being able to pick exactly the number of strings that we want. Okay, here we are for the first exercise, which is again going from the highest string to the lowest string, and we're not even going to use the left hand. We're just going to act independently because that's what is one of the great keys to success, is learning independence of action of hands and fingers. So, here we are. We're going to pick the high E string four times, very slowly. Then we're going to move to two strings, then three strings, four, five, and six. Okay, that's the first half of the first exercise. Now we're going to do that again, and I want you to go ahead and, if, if you'd like, go ahead and do this with me. Once we come to all six strings, then we're going to reverse the action and do six, five, four, three, two, and one. You'll see this as you go with me. Okay, here's the full exercise. Let's do it together. Two, three, four. Two strings. Again, practice these exercises many times, many, many, many times. There's no shortcut to success except slow, perfect practice. The second half of the exercise, well, the first half, of course, is we came this way. Now we've got to learn to control the pick coming this way, and it's a completely different procedure. A lot of it's based on how uh, jet aircraft land on uh, aircraft carriers is that as you know when they land there's not much runway so they've got to stop somehow and they run a string across the aircraft carrier and a hook on the back of the jet grabs that wire and stops them and we're going to do the same thing with the pick. When we're picking this string the pick actually comes to rest against the next string and stops. It's not a free flowing event like that because then you'll get just that right there. So what we're going to do is look at how the pick comes in and stops against. If you're going to do two strings, the pick stops against three. So now we're going to do our exercise, again going from one string all the way to six, and then coming back to one string um, on a slow count of four. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four. One. Two.
So that's it for pick control part two, learning how to strum combinations of one to six strings from top to bottom. Thanks a lot. This is Charles Steyer at CherryValleyMusic.com. We'll see you next time.